people go, oh, you're so happy all the time. I do get frustrated uh, sometimes, but I don't complain too much on the video because I do have a couple rules. Uh, first off, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. All right, good morning, late morning. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock in Illinois. Um, we're at a Love's truck stop. We're waiting. We still got about another 30 minutes before. Oh, here, I'll show you where to Love's. We got about another 30 minutes before we'll take off and head up to uh, St. Louis. Uh, we're about 45 minutes away. Uh, we loaded on Friday, we loaded some steel conduit. Uh, originally, this was supposed to deliver at 8 o'clock this morning. I called them on Friday and they said, no, don't bring it till 12. So it kind of slowed us down a little bit. Got two stops, St. Louis, Iowa City. We're going to do Iowa City tomorrow morning and then we're going to reload about 30 miles away. I think it's Witten, Witten, Iowa. Uh, we're going to pick up some steel, take it back down to St. Louis. So that's our load for tomorrow. Uh, and it's supposed to snow tonight up in Iowa. Let's go outside. So, oh, we can, uh, so there's the fuel aisle right there for the loves. Just pan around slowly. And that's I-64 right there. And we're parked in the parking st spot here. Let's go, uh, let's go over this side over here. It's a little quieter. So this is what we ended up getting. I had to tarp it. It's got two stops. Uh, there's four stacks. So the back two stacks and half of this stack right here deliver in St. Louis. And then the rest of it uh, will go to uh, Iowa City. So we do have to untarp it though. Here, I wanted to show you this real quick. Hopefully it'll show up. Ugh. So I fixed a little bolt. Let me, let me, there you go. I fixed a little bolt for the, uh, for the uh, leveler, for the airbags. So let me crawl out this way. Oh. Oh, but anyway, here give you a better look over here. All right, let's get going and I'll talk in a bit. All right, I think we're ready to go. It is 10:30. I just checked Google Maps, and uh, it said that the traffic was moving okay through St. Louis. So let's uh, get going here. See if we can get through the fuel aisles. So they're all blocked up. Uh, let's see. We might have to spin all the way around. Let's see here. Let's see. That one's blocked up. That one's blocked up. Is that one moving? Let's see here. Hang on a second. All right. We're gonna have to. Well, let's see what this guy. Is. All right, we got to go around. All of the uh, fuel aisles are locked up. We can't get through. So I got the air dumped out of the rear axle. Um, I got a lot of comments about uh, my poor man's lift axle. Uh, got a lot of comments about why didn't I just lift the rear axle? Well, the rear axle has the leveling valve on it control the height of the airbags and if you lift the rear axle up off the ground the leveling valve uh, doesn't work properly when I dump the air out of the air out of the rear airbags it automatically isolates the air into the front airbags um, but you can't drive around like that it's made to go around corners and doing sharp turns and stuff like that so it doesn't readjust the height of the airbags when the rear axle is dumped. Alright, this is going to be a little harder than I thought to get out of here. It's not going easy. A lot of these little loves and pilot truck stops like this are always kind of a mess. I stopped here because this was the closest truck stop St. Louis on I-64. We got here 
here yesterday about uh, about four o'clock. I spent all weekend down in uh, Louisville, plugged in to the electricity, so I didn't have to run my little generator. But, all right, we made it out of here. Let's uh, let's get on the interstate. Got about an hour to go. We're gonna be going uh, through kind of downtown St. Louis. So I'll see you when we get there. is on the right. I don't know what I'm getting into here. It's the end of the day. I was going to go outside and show you guys what's going on or what we have left. We unloaded half the truck this afternoon. We're, just... well, I'm at a little tiny truck stop about 30 miles south of uh, Iowa City. Hang on, I'll spin you around. And uh, I think they got a nice big lot. There it goes nice big dirt lot I found this place on uh, trucker path um, we're about 30 miles from where we got to go in Iowa City for tomorrow uh, let's see 
I don't have much footage for today. It rained most of the day. So uh, I was going to film um, unloading, but it was nasty rainy. My gloves are all wet. My coveralls are all wet. So I'm going to hang them up in the truck and let them dry tonight. Ah, uh, see what else. I was going to go outside, but this little camera, I don't know what's going on. The uh, This is my uh, GoPro setup. The uh, It's locked up, so i got to take the battery out of it and get it going. But anyway, I ain't got no footage for today. I got today, so we were at the Loves this morning. We left there, we drove to St. Louis, and unloaded, went pretty good. The, I was a little frustrated with the St. Louis, and not so much the place, but when I took this load, uh, when I took this load, it was supposed to deliver 8 o'clock in the morning. At least that's what it said in the computer. When I called the customer on Friday, even before I got loaded, he said, oh no, we don't receive till 12 o'clock. And I was like, really? So anyway, it kind of frustrated me a little bit. So it wasn't really the customer's fault because when I got there, they got a big sign in the warehouse that says receiving hours 12 to 3.30. So uh, it was just, wasn't something they just made up. But I had called the agent and I told them, and they said, oh, we didn't know. I said, well, how come I found out and you couldn't? But anyway, that's just me. People go, oh, you're so happy all the time. I do get frustrated uh, sometimes, but I don't complain too much on the video because I do have a couple rules. Uh, first off, you don't bite the hand that feeds you. So I don't bad mouth Mercer too much, but they don't make me mad very often. But uh, there are situations where I get frustrated. But it's like anything. I mean, there are so many people involved in doing what we do. Information has to pass through so many people that it gets messed up. And unfortunately, I'm at the bottom of the hill. And it just keeps rolling downhill till it hits me. And then, you know, there's nothing I can do about it because I can't push it back uphill. So anyway, that's just me complaining a little bit. Other than that. Tomorrow we got a. We're, the sun comes up. Sunrise is about 6:45. Um, we're 30 minutes. The place opens at seven, so we'll leave here around seven-ish. Get up there 7:30. The reason I do that is I don't want I don't want to start my clock too early um, because I'll just sit there. I get there about 7:30. They've already opened up and everything, and I've already called them and confirmed that they receive at seven. Um, but we do have a reload in Witten, Iowa our appointments at 11 so but we're only gonna be like 30 miles away um, I don't think it's gonna snow tonight I've been checking the weather at first it was supposed to snow here it's snowing down south in Missouri so I don't know what we're gonna get into tomorrow afternoon but uh, I think we're gonna be all right up here so anyway. all right like I said that's just me talking cuz I don't have nothing else to talk about that's it that's it. a pretty easy day it's been an easy weekend I spent the weekend at Mercer plugged in so I didn't have to run my little generator all weekend um, ran to Walmart drove the little truck around other than that that's it all right thanks for watching